there just saying their prayers. And let's have a look at the starting lineup for Queen's Royal College first. Afan is the man between the uprights. There's King, Lamsey, the midfielder. There's Karuth, the skipper. Mohammed, Nelson, Grandison, Tuckett, Gray, James, Franklin. And the coach, as we heard him earlier, uh, Kenman Jones. Yeah, this is a Queen's World College that uh, needs points and needs consistency. And uh, there is the Fatima lineup. Fatima with uh, Bailey, Atherton, Skipper Jaden Williams. There's the Gans, Camacho, Shaves, Collier, Leach, who played left back, is more in the midfield today. Smith, Barrington, Edwards, the goalkeeper, uh, Tristan Edwards, the these are uh, tower of strength at the back for Fatima and the coach, the former Trent and Tobago standard. And uh, they have certainly kept the pressure on Samoa North. We'll just have to wait and see what has happened with it. Let's have a look at the highlights here, as there is referee Hines getting, getting things going. And it's sent across field. Bailey scoring the opening goal. That's a good bit of movement. It was played towards Bailey. He controlled it nicely, and he banged it into the back of the net. And then the lone goal scored here by Queen's Royal College. There was Barrington. Not a good clearance because his keeper was down. Uh, it was played right down the center. James had an easy task of putting it into an open net. So at that point, game was on. It was one all. But then the Degan show started. The ball came across uh, towards him. He was left open, and he just put it into the back of the net to make it two goals to one. And then it wasn't done there because Shaves got into the act. He took on the defenders, went past him. Then the goalkeeper came. He went past the keeper, and he slotted it, slotted it into the back of the net. Three goals to one. Uh, Fatima leading at that point in time. We went into the second half, and it was more of the same. This time, Levi Smith bangs it into the back of the net. The ball played square to him from uh, Christian Bailey, and he had the simple task of putting it into the back of the net. Four to one, Fatima leading at this point in time. And then came the goal of the match, Bailey. Played it in field. Look at the movement. Bailey kept his run going, rounded the keeper superbly, and uh, put it into the back of an open net to make it five goals to one. And it wasn't done there. Atherton sends it across field. The ball played into the guns, and all he had to do was to put it into the back of the net. Six one. And he wasn't finished there. That was his second goal. And would you believe it? He then uh, took on the defense. It went to Karaya. Karaya squared it back to the Vans, and he put it into the back of the net to make it seven goals to one. So a comfortable victory in the end as the referee Hines blows her whistle uh, to indicate that the game came to an end with Fatima College easily uh, victorious. Let's have a look at the stats here. As you look at the shots, 13 shots to five, Eight shots on target. Of those eight, seven went into the back of the net. Five shots from uh, Queen's Royal College. Nine shots to five. Sorry, nine fouls to five. Two yellow cards for Fatima. One for QRC. No red cards. Three offsides to Fatima. Then seven corners to six. Four saves from Edwards. Two saves from Afan in the QRC goal. And look at that possession. 63 uh, to 37. And uh, an easy victory in the end. Uh, seven to one. Let's go down to the man of the match. Yes, and I am here with the man of the match, none other than Aidan Degans. Here's your trophy. Well deserved. Um, Aidan, how does it feel to score a hat trick in such a big game like this? Well, it feels very good. Um, I always try to help out the team as much as I can, and today I was just scoring the hat trick, so I'm very happy for that. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, man of the match is an individual award, but I think everybody here would see that you all are such a great team. How do you all have that team chemistry, the passing, the moves, the goals? What is it all down to? Well, we've all been playing together since Form 1 and during the pre and we worked very hard together. And even in the camp and stuff, there was a lot of chemistry since even before the season started. So, yeah. Yeah, it definitely shows on the pitch. And, of course, coming down to the end of the season as it advances, not to put pressure on you, but you are in a title race. What is the confidence in the camp? Well, we are very confident. We know that once we come out and execute what the coaches want us to execute and play our football that we'll be successful hopefully by the end of the season. Definitely and all the best going forward and now through to Brent Sancho with the coaches. Thank you very much. I'm joined by head coach of uh, Queen's Royal College, Kenwin Jones. 
Kenwin, of course, uh, a disappointing result for you. Your assessment of the 90 minutes? Um, well, it started. It started quite decent. Um, I think um, a bit of inconsistency in defending um, Costa, um, individual mistakes, and from there it was downhill. Well, of course, as the season goes on for you, uh, important to get some points on the board. How do you pick the charges up after this result? Well, we have to quickly forget about today. Um, yes, it was a bit demoralizing, but at the same time, we have to get ready for, for the game on Saturday. We have to do better defensively as a team um, and try and cut out some of those mistakes that we've been making. Thank you very much, Kenwin. All the best. No problem. Coach uh, Hudson Charles, uh, a big win here today, a, a local derby of some sort. Your assessment on the 90 minutes plus? All right, um, first of all, you know, I mean, thankful for the victory, right? And I thought my guys and them, they played well. Um, we talked this up before that, well, our aim is to win the league, and right, and this is a hurdle we had was to cross, right? So, coach and staff understand it, the players understand it, and I think they came out and executed beautifully. Well, of course, uh, the matter of the match, the guns making forward runs, getting into box, something you designed? Of course, because it <laughs> reminds me of my time when I used to play, but it, it's, something, it's something I always, especially my two attacking midfielders, always like to, for them to end up in the pocket. And I think he did that beautifully, and he got the, the three goals, which was good. Well, I know it's still some time left in this season. You must be in that locker room a feeling that you can walk away with this year's SSFL Championship. Well, well, that is the, the idea that we're we trying to instill in the young men's head, right? Um, as I say, we want to win the league. And to win the league, we have to win all the games. Take it one game at a time, and that's how we're going. Thank you very much, Hudson, and all the best.